everybody. Welcome back. In honor of how terrible my shark costume is, we're looking at some Halloween fails. Are you excited? I'll take that as a yes. He's just a bit grumpy today. He hasn't had his sardines. Spooky season, spooky season. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, if it's not coming off on her hand, then it's, oh, it's for sure not coming off on her face. That's your face now. <laughs> That's what you look like. Hooray. Hey, at least you know the makeup's gonna stay all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the worst when you do such good Halloween makeup. And then by the end of the night, you just look so ratchet. So ratchet and disgusting. Maybe it was raining that Halloween. Oh, God. That's really scary, trust me. Want to be really scared on Halloween? Stay out until like 3 a.m. That's when the scaries come out. <laughs> oh, my oh, God! Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> No, you, you are She-Hulk. She-Hulk now. <laughs> oh my god. Lady Hulk. Okay, relax. It's on my face! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she's the Grinch. Oh, I didn't... I. <laughs> Great costume. <laughs> she had a green face. How was I supposed to know? She could be a, a number of different things. When you're the only person to take Halloween seriously in your office. As you can see, this is a very serious team meeting. Wait for it. Show me, show me. <laughs> what a costume to pick to Ali G. Excellent. Execution. Incredible. Commitment. Incredible. They just need to get on your level, okay? God, can't anybody else be festive? In the corporate world, is it normal to dress up on Halloween or are we in suits until after work? Um, so I learned to not store Halloween decor in your attic. Oh. Oh, it all melted. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's all like fused together. Even the bottle? Just make it a part of a Halloween display. Okay, no, this is fixable. This is fixable. Okay, we could use that on Frosty the Snowman. Come come Christmas. Yeah, and the rest of it, you're kind of screwed. Sorry. <laughs> There's one thing I realized about Halloween. It just generates so much waste, doesn't it? Such a wasteful holiday. From the Halloween candy wrappers to the costumes that you're never going to wear again. It's just very wasteful, isn't it? Lots of plastic. Lots of tears being wasted on stupid boys. All in all, a very, very wasteful holiday. I was at my kid's school for a costume parade. One dad misunderstood in the best way possible. No, the rest of you misunderstood. This is Halloween. It's Halloween. I wanna see some, some commitment. God. <laughs> Spot the fun parent, I dare you. My team said we were dressing as dominoes. <laughs> I mean, you're technically not wrong. You should have specified. Tell me you love pizza without telling me. Let's dress up as dominoes. Oh, oh, pizza, yes, pizza. What a way to team build. I was told the theme was Greece and I dressed accordingly. Again, technically not wrong. Look at that. Maybe he dressed right and you guys are wrong. Time to feed my babies. <gasps> no, no, oh no. I think they're scared of me. Yeah. They've never seen this man. <laughs> I thought that was not my intentions, but that was funny as hell. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I kind of want to see that again. Wait, look how scared they are. Look at this one. He's so scared. <laughs> Those poor kittens. Don't they know you're their father? When your wife tells you to dress up for the kids' Halloween party, but none of the other dads got the memo. You had to go with a dress, didn't you? You know what? I hate those people that are too cool to dress up for Halloween. Come on, dads. Your youth is, is, your youth is slipping away from you. 
In honor of Halloween, my Halloween pumpkin carving failed last year. My attempt at a toothbrush. <laughs> Why a toothbrush? Why though? Oh, I'm gonna carve a pumpkin. Let's do a toothbrush. It, explain that thought process to me. <laughs> Would love to know. Oh, oh no! Our table! Oh no! Your face! It's blue! Were you trying to be a smurf? Is that a smurf or an alien? What's that? Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, that looked expensive. What was that? Was that Patron? Don Julio? Just, yeah, that's... Uh-oh. Maybe this is a sign that we should not drink anymore. <laughs> Sober October! Halloween costume knockoffs that were just so bad! <laughs> Evil Midweek Cutie! <laughs> Evil Midweek Cutie. He's my favorite character! Boyish Snow Clown! Brought to you by Disney's Froze. The rice is strange. What does it mean? They couldn't call him Pennywise, so they called him Moneywise? Rice is strange. Orphan boy witch? Did Draco Malfoy write this? Wizard villain boy? Is that supposed to be Voldemort as a child? Biscuit beast? Is this supposed to be Cookie Monster? I didn't even try with this Freddy knockoff. Night Killer? Really? Is sexy Super Mario courageous Maria? And they even made fearless Luisa instead of Luigi? <laughs> no one in particular, it's just a man out of space costume. You see, it's an Oompa Loompa, but a girl. Can't wait for the new season of Unusual Events. <laughs> oh, the joys of copyright. The joys of copyright! You know, because they can get sued if they put the real costume name on there. Yeah. What are you being for Halloween? Oh, uh, evil midweek cutie. The rice is strange. I'm still stuck on this. The rice is strange. So she's Minnie Mouse. <laughs> the rice is strange. Anyone get it? Anyone understand it? I leave it to you folks. Y'all are way smarter than me. And here we have some strange rice. <laughs> Saw another TikTok where they made eyes for their bush outside. Of course, I had to try. Paint, check. Squiggles and glued eyes, check. Hey, that looks pretty good. Let's do this. Oh, those look pretty good, right? A scary Just bush. freaking stay. Oh yeah, that bush, bush isn't gonna <laughs> just put it on the ground. That's unfortunate. Oh, that would have been so good. There must be a way. We must find her a way. I will not rest until that bush has eyes. <laughs> Well, it's Halloween. Let me talk about a trick-or-treat teacher fail. I'm a pre-K teacher at a public school. We're doing trunk-or-treat. It's the end of the night. I just want to get rid of my candy. Little girl comes up. Cutest freaking kid in the world. Super thick glasses, bad speech impediment, dressed like Dora the Explorer. I give her some candy. She says, twickle tweet. I'm delighted <laughs> by this. So I say, do you want more? She says, no, I have to throw it away when I get home. I said, oh, why do you have to throw it away? Little girl says, I got bad teethies. I don't know why she's calling teeth teethies. I go with it. Mom gives me a nod. I think mom wants me to play into this. I'll have a pair now. I said, yeah, and you'll continue to have bad teeth if you don't brush them. Mom gasps. Little girl's face drops. Mom's like, what are you talking about? Her teeth are fine. I say, I thought she said she had bad teeth. Mom said, no, she has diabetes. I profusely apologize. I panic and give her more candy. Mom yells at me. The complex I gave this poor child. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I found that funny. But f fair. That's a reasonable thing to say to someone. You know, brush your teethies. Diabetes. <laughs> oh, just keep, just. Oops, I forgot to tell him we don't go inside after we knock. Okay, gently knock. Oh, just goes in the house. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Cooper. Come here. Oh, he's hugging you. He is so welcome. Aw. No. Come here. Some candy? Yeah. 
Okay, okay come back out. So I can close the come door. back out. We gotta teach you <laughs> trick or treater etiquette. Okay. For all the kids watching, don't like actually go in the houses. That's dangerous. Stranger danger. Mind you, accepting candy from strangers is also kind of like a weird tradition, you know what I mean? Don't take candies from strangers, unless it's Halloween. Then, consume it in bulk. I paint my truck for Halloween. Oh, yes, blood. Blood on your truck. Now it's time for car wash. I'm scared they is not coming off. Here we go. Oh, yeah, no. Imagine now you're stuck with it. I feel like you might be. You're kind of screwed, buddy. I don't know. It's, it's kind of coming there. I just feel like the only way that this is acceptable is if it's Halloween. If a policeman sees a truck like that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You've, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you've got blood on your car. It also says help. Are you in trouble? Have you kidnapped someone? Time for a whole new truck. People are asking for an update, honey. I'm sorry. You want to tell them how many came tonight? Sure. We had three trick or treaters. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Let's call it, okay? It's it's uh, almost nine. Yes. Let's go watch a movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. That's always so upsetting. But hey, here's a plus. More candy for you. When you move into a new house and find out no one trick or treats there. Oh. I'll go to your house. I'll take your candy. He's got some good stuff there too. There's some full-size bars, some full-size Starburst. Why don't why don't people trick or treat there? Is that like an anti-child neighborhood? No festivities whatsoever. Just a bunch of gringes. When you're a nail tech but also an idiot. <laughs> Wait, why did you put that there? Just ranch. <laughs> Just branch on your nails, eh? I think that was supposed to say boo. Was it? Was it supposed to say boo? <laughs> it's fine. Maybe she won't notice. I bought this Star Wars costume with the best of intentions, but it turned out to be the worst costume of all time. Oh, you looked like you had they a BBL. They didn't include the bottom half in the product image. There was a warning that the costumes are not sized the same as apparel, but all they provided was a number in the chart without an explanation of what unit it was in or what measurement the number was for. However, I noticed that the size small was over $50 cheaper than any other size, and that is normally my size, so that's what I went with. A normal pair of pants looks <laughs> sort of like this, you could say, but these have this very bizarre side element going on that I just don't understand. The worst part is that these aren't even pockets. <laughs> you can't put anything in here. It's just side. This costume is not worth, oh, the belt already broke. See, this is what I'm saying. Halloween is just a very wasteful holiday, isn't it? What are you gonna do with those pants now? Probably throw them away. You're literally just buying garbage. Cheap garbage. Make sure you have a very good Halloween for me. Don't do what I did. Don't buy a crappy costume off of Amazon. The difference is though, is I plan to wear this every day, so. Subscribe!